Well, hello there, konnichiwa, good morning. So, I will now make my review for episode 10 of Kakumeiki Valve Rave or Valve Rave the Liberator. And yeah, like you, uh, like you can see, I'm smoking a cigarette because I was astonished about what happened at the end of the episode. Okay, in the 80s and 90s, yeah, we have animes that they have this kind of stuff, but I, this was completely unexpected uh, for me since the memes of this generation usually they do not portray this type of scenes unless they belong to a specific genre uh, like hentai so, well, uh, I'm simply astonished how the producers of the series pulled this off and that the company allow it. Well, um, it's kind of strange uh, if this is if this was when I was younger I will not be so surprised however uh, I do become surprised by this episode in any case this is mainly the second uh, no 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 this is the highlight scene or the highlight point of this episode without a doubt uh, because it's completely un unexpected uh, cur the current type of animes that air does not have these kind of scenes usually so I'm quite surprised, but, uh, well, uh, Rukino kind of, it appears that she also desired this in a strange way, so the, me the mechanisms of the Valve Raves affect, affect seriously the persons that are the pilots of the Valve Raves, okay, or especially Aruto, uh, because at the beginning of the episode we do have an uh, explanation between the professor and El Elf, where the professor explains that the unit that is of Aruto is, specially, is special compared to the others, so probably it possesses other kind of needs and urges that the other that the others don't have I guess so and then basically this episode is they kind of decided Nanami kind of decided to help elections to elect a new prime minister to represent the model on I guess a conference in the moon and we see several candidates and so on um, and also I kind of feel sorry for Shoko in a way because after her speech about um, she is going to confess his love, her love, 
to the one she loves and so on at the conference in the moon mm, I don't see this ending well don't know why but I don't see this ending well besides the fact that the Dorsians are again planning an attack and we also learn a thing about Dorsian that basically they are the space version of the Nazi Germany uh, well I was kinda connecting them to the second German Reich made by Bismarck but in this episode we also learned that the leader of the Dorsian Federation is called Führer so well this is clear, clear clearly a um, connotation with uh, Nazi Germany uh, in a way and we also see a speech between Kane and two of the guys of the group of El Elf initially and they are kinda saying that the uh, King faction could, uh, could, be, could, could take this opportunity to make a move and to regain the power so apparently let's assume that El Elf does belong to the King action and that he simply wants to overthrow the military regime and reinstate the princess apparently I think that's the most uh, proper explanation for his betrayal to the Russians and his driving force in a way so but well basically this is the episode not much happened uh, except the, the final part with Aruto and Rukino and at the same time the speech of Shoko or were the two more important aspects of this episode we also see a little more of Yamada and I kinda yeah I kinda became sympathetic to Yamada it's not that I did not sympathize with him but he was kind of a strange uh, character uh, but uh, the way they portrayed him on this episode it was a good thing they did and uh, I guess Yamada will now get a lot of more fans so well I'm still in shock honestly I'm still in shock by the final part of the episode so I guess I will end the review here mm. also these will have 12 episodes then we will have a second season apparently so I'm kinda interesting, probably this will end on the moon conference, probably, but honestly, after this episode, I don't see things work out between uh, Shoko and Aruto, I don't see it, and also like uh, Rukino was saying, when Aruto goes talk to Shoko and where she explains that she uh, believes or still believes that his father is still alive, the former prime minister or the prime minister, and Aruto kind of promised that he will try to find and rescue him. So she says then later on after the talk between Aruto and uh, Shoko, 
cool looking kind of step scene and says that it's impossible things to work out between Naruto and Shoko because Shoko is a human and Naruto is no longer a human so um, well this is my review for Kakumeki Valverde episode 10 or Valverde Deliberator hope you enjoy stay well and peace